you know how to get started with Bark, um, especially with the installation. So before you get started, you need to have some prerequisites. So Bark is built on the Basel build system developed by Google that is used to run all the unit tests, to run all the examples and also the benchmarks. So make sure you have that installed on your machine before using Bark. We focused on using the Python version 3.7 minus dev, and we additionally required a Python 3.7 minus TK um, framework for the Matplotlib. So we fixed this version mainly because we're using PyBind and we need to define a, a Python version in the Basel build file. So as we are having trouble with the latest virtual environment, um, we are recommend to use an older version and here the specific version of 16.7.8. And Bark requires a compiler like GCC7 that is capable of compiling C++ 17. It doesn't of course have to be GCC7. For example, if you're under Mac, you can also use Clang or other um, newer compilers like GCC8 or whatever you prefer. As we ourselves use Visual Studio Code for development, we also recommend you to use that as it um, provides with the right extensions some um, neat features to develop. So to install Bark, you first have to clone the repository from, from this link here and then enter the directory. So we're going to go ahead and just clone that into our um, folder. So you can see Bark is now being downloaded and after the download has been finished, we can then access the Bark directory. Oh, which is done automatically. I forgot I copied it from the website. Um, after this has been um, downloaded, we then have to install the virtual environment. So here, the virtual environment is created first and all, then all of the required packages are downloaded. and installed. So we just wait a while until the download has finished. That um, will take a while as Bark requires some dependencies, but they're already installed in the PyEnv, which I have on my machine. So it should be quite quick. So yeah, and once the installation then has commenced, we use um, the command source dev into to actually enter the virtual environment. So whatever you do in Bark should be done in the virtual environment. So you can see that here after we enter the virtual environment, we have this um, van, VN here in the front and every command that you enter or every com compile command that you enter in Bark should be in this virtual environment. So before you start using uh, Bark, you should make sure that all of the tests compile and that there is no issue on your machine. That can be done with the basal test command and slash slash dot 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 means to query all the tests that's available in the subsequent folders. So after you have made sure that um, bug runs um, smoothly after you entered this command, you then can execute a single example. For example, here it's the, ex the merging example. If you click on the examples here, you can see a build file that specifies um, which you can run. So we are in the folder Bark examples. So you can run uh, the highway example, the merging example, interaction data set example, and so on. And right now we want to, as it's stated here, focus on the merging example. So it's the folder structure and then double colon, and then it's the example itself. So once we enter that, um, Basil starts the build server and pulls all the repositories and builds the example. And after the example has been built, you can see it popping up with the Matplotlib viewer. The vehicle here is depicted in red and the other vehicles are colorful. The goal is displayed on the left as a red area. So as you can see, it's running properly. We're running a few scenarios here and the simulation time of these are four seconds. So after it's finished, you just go back to the virtual environment and you can run, for example, basal test and um, we can make sure that all the tests pass, but in this case, as we have a CI, it's not really necessary to run these commands and to recompile everything, as we can see here in Bark, that the CI run has um, passed successfully. So it's basically the same as running them locally. For Bark on macOS, you need to follow a few additional steps. 
so Bark requires the latest version of TCL-TK. That can be installed using Homebrew using the command brew upgrade TCL-TK. For the management of the Python environments, I would recommend you to use PyEnf as this gives you a flexibility choosing the Python versions. So we use the Python version 3.7 minus dev. If you should run into problems install in the installation and with TK Inter, you can have a look at this link here provided. And once you installed uh, PyN 3.7 minus dev, you have to set it globally as your environment, add it to your bash RC, and then also enable it. And once that all has finished, we basically have concluded the additional installation steps that are required for macOS. As on the Linux, we require an older version of virtual env as the newer ones have some problems finding the Python age. So additionally, sometimes you can run into trouble with matplotlib tk hg backend. You can have a look at this link provided here to fix that as Bark requires the matplotlib tk hg backend um, for the viewer. So sometimes if py the Python maha cannot be found, you need to make sure that there is a Python H file in this path here, which is basically the, where the virtual environment is going to be installed in Bark. So this basically concludes the installation setup. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us, write us an email. We're happy to help you out.